Coming up, we'll tell you if it's World Series or bust for the Dodgers. And if Drew Brees is on the same level as Peyton Manning. Ah. I just said that. But we start with today's Whitlocks. What you got today, Big Oh, I got some Thursday night football on Big Fox. All right. I got Andrew Luck in a Big Fox Mm -hmm. tonight. All right, you smell that, Marcel? I smell what you're cooking. You smell that? That's Mm -hmm. an upset brewing. That's Andrew Luck (laughs) delivering on all his potential and promise tonight. That's Frank Wright erasing the stench of his boneheaded overtime decision from last Sunday. Mm. The New England Patriots. Cowherd's favorite team, 10-point favorites tonight over the Colts. They're going down inside Gillette Stadium. Andrew Luck needs this victory far more than Tom Brady. Luck is 0-5 against Bill Belichick and the Patriots. Luck's passer rating drops nearly 20 points when he faces a Belichick-led defense. To be the man, you have to beat the man. Andrew Luck needs a signature performance and victory to stamp himself as back as an elite quarterback. Woo! It's been too long since he pulled off something amazing. In my opinion, his signature NFL moment came at the conclusion of the 2013 season when he rallied the coach from a 28-point deficit for a 45-44 victory over the Chiefs in the playoffs at Hurt. And at that time, everybody thought Luck was the heir to the throne shared by Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. He peaked the next season throwing 40 touchdown passes, and the NFL Network ranked him as the seventh best player in the entire league. Pretty much been misfortune and injuries ever since. In four years, he's won 11 games and lost 15. His stats look nice this season. He's played at a high level, but the Colts are one and three. And as bad as Wright's go-for-it decision was last week, you know what was just as bad as that fourth and four brain fart? Luck's throw. No one is talking about Luck's fastball at the receiver's ankles. It was horrible. It was uncatchable. It's a throw Brock Osweiler would make, not something you'd expect from a potential legend. Tonight is Luck's night of Woo! redemption. Tonight, Luck reminds football fans that he was the guy who was supposed to be the next John Elway, not Patrick Mahomes, the greatest of all time. Yeah. Obviously, The shoulder injuries have made it impossible for Luck to launch the ball the way Elway did and Mahomes does. What Luck can still be is the next Brady or Manning, a quarterback who beats you with his mind as much as his arm. There's no excuses tonight. Indy's defense isn't great. It's middle of the road. But the Colts can get after the quarterback. They're second in the league in sacks with 17 total. They'll heat up Brady, force the Patriots to punt occasionally, and I expect Luck to put 35 points on the scoreboard and remind everyone why he was seen as the most can't-miss quarterback prospect since John Elway in 1983. Patriots go down tonight, Marcellus, and Andrew Luck is the primary reason. Mm. Uh, Patriots this, go down tonight, Andrew. I, I heard all that. I'm still processing, smelling what you're cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> Not exactly what you said, uh, uh, upset brewing, but um, let's, in order to have proper messaging, Extract a line item from your Whitlock yeah. and expand on it. Okay. Let's put up Andrew Luck's record against one master, Bill Belichick. Damn. Donut and five. Okay, donut and five. <laughs> uh, let me do some simple math. Carry to one. That win percentage is zero. Okay. He's never been able to beat him. Everything else just supports the fact that he's never been able to beat Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. So now let's talk about what that means, and let me take you into the locker room right. where Coach would sit there after seeing something like this and then would challenge all of us, Whitlock. You know what he would say to us, Whitlock? I'm supposed to say, what did he say? What's he say? Because you weren't there. This, this ain't Ball State, What's homie. He, all right, what does he say? Okay. You know what he would say? What? Either you're do or you do do. And this is the situation. <laughs> Are you do, Andrew Luck, to beat the Patriots finally? Or are you just doo-doo? And I hate to say this, but against the Patriots and Bill Belichick, Andrew Luck is doo-doo, dog. And he's not going to be able to pick himself up this time because this is a compromised version of Andrew Luck versus the healthy version that still had no success against Belichick. What gives you the faith the same guy who came and threw the Hail Mary for his team to win a ball game is now going to go in there and get his first win against Belichick? It's inevitable. He will not retire having never beaten the Patriots. Mm. So it's inevitable. Okay. But more than that. He's due, huh? More than <laughs> but he's due. Okay. More than that, I'm just saying, Frank Reich embarrassed himself last week. 
and they are backed up against the wall. Great point. A one and four start is going to unleash some desperation mm-hmm. in Frank Wright and Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck co-signed for that decision last week. And just because I'm the only one that has pointed out that that pass he threw was garbage, right. trust me, Andrew Luck knows it was garbage. And that's one of the reasons why he co-signed for that decision, because he didn't put the ball in a place where the receiver could even make a play to back up his coach. Andrew Luck has to push some chips into the middle of the table tonight. The Patriots, I think, are a little overvalued because of the Miami win. And to me, that Miami blowout said more about the Dolphins being frauds than the Patriots having fixed all of their problems. I don't believe in the Patriots' offensive line. I do believe in this Indianapolis Colts defensive line. They got some dude I'd never heard of that's like 6'8", 290 pounds, Hmm. that's got four sacks from the interior. Defensive tackle, not a defensive end. They have a for real defensive line. They're getting four sacks a game. They are going to heat Brady up, cause a turnover or two, force some punts, and then it will be on Andrew Luck to deliver tonight and deliver for four quarters I, I just think he's due. I think they're desperate. I think no way he can come out this year and start one and four. He or Frank Wright. I, I, I just, but I think you have a bit of a problem mm. with Andrew Luck. Oh me? You? Yeah. I, I really think where your cynicism, because this ten point line, I'm telling you, is just ridiculous. Yeah. But I think your cynicism is you think Andrew Luck has gotten a pass most of his career. Yeah, I mean, I hate to fast forward to the thinking cap segment when um, you're media, but I do have a problem with the media, and I'm pointing a finger at you <laughs> in particular, and the masses of media that's giving this guy a pass. How? How? Okay. Uh, this is a player that we heard was the best prospect since John Elway. Now, using that as a measurement of expectations, has he delivered on those expectations? Yes or no, Jason Whitlock? The first three years, he went 11-5 and five every year, and he played in the AFC Championship game. And I haven't been the hugest Andrew Luck supporter. But when you go look at what he did when healthy, yeah. Okay. I loved how you qualified all that and gave me a longer answer than yes or no because you didn't want to really be <laughs> narrowed down to yes or no. I will support this with another full screen. Look at me got all this support today. <laughs> Check this out in terms of why he's getting a pass. This is the Cam Newton who we do mental gymnastics for to criticize. Can't give him enough credit. And Andrew Luck who we just can't stop giving him praise despite the situation of performance. Cam Newton, number one overall pick. Andrew Luck, same guy. National champion winner, so expectations should have been higher, but they weren't. Versus a guy who never even won his conference championship. We got a Heisman winner on one side that we criticized. Has Andrew Luck ever won Heisman? No. Super Bowl appearance by one Cam Newton. Did Andrew Luck ever make a Super Bowl? No. NFL MVP. Cam Newton, Superman. Has Andrew Luck ever been MVP? No. Uh, and we're talking about durability. The best ability is availability. One guy has missed three games as a pro, including a car accident played that week. And another guy has missed 26 games, including a ski accident, when he was already injured and missed the entire year. But I ask you, Jason Whitlock, once again, has he lived up to expectations? And where's all this wait-and-see approach coming for Andrew Luck when we don't give Cam Newton Look, even that kind of respect? Marcellus, I got to give you credit. Nobody moves the goalposts quite like you, and you just moved them brilliantly. <laughs> you, just, you just changed this from a conversation about Andrew Luck to how's he stack up to Cam Newton. And look, I would be on board with you okay. because I, trust, I love Cam Newton and the way he's playing this year. Yeah. I think he's playing at a really high level, and you're right. He's been the MVP and all those things. And, yes, if you compare resume to resume, mm. you would quite – well, damn, Cam gets criticized, mm. Luck doesn't. I, so I'll go there with you. Yeah. But but what I'll say is some guys bring criticism on themselves. Oh, I'll give you that. Some guys, I'll give you that. Some, some guys – Lose in the Super Bowl and don't talk to the media and pout. Some guys throw a towel over their head and pout on the sidelines. And some guys are at home watching it. Yeah. <laughs> <And you're not. laughs> no, no question about right, it. Right. But there are things you can do to bait the media. Some guys stand up in front of the media and try to crack a joke about a female reporter Very understanding funny. football and all that other stuff. So Cam Newton, love him to death, and I've never given up on him, even when he was struggling. I was like, man, you don't give up on young people, and you don't give up on people with that much talent. I get it. Cam off the field and things not having to do with all just playing the quarterback position brings some of the criticism on himself. 
Andrew Luck doesn't do that. Andrew Luck is a goofball. I'll give you that all shucks guy. And yeah, he wins the goofball. Pre- he wins the press conference and look, he's talented and we know he's good and expectations may be a little absurd based on what we've seen. But since Cam Newton loses the press conference, I don't understand why that bleeds on to his performance. And, and if Cam Newton had the nerve to walk up to a Patriot game with an 0-5 record, the outcry will be much louder than what we're hearing right now. We're saying, wait and see. We're saying, I'm wishing on the star. <laughs> You're wishing for this dude to ball out when we kill guys when they haven't succeeded yet. Listen, hmm. I'm consistent. Young people and talent, I don't give up on. I'm with you there. So I don't give up on Cam Newton. Tonight, I'm not giving up on Andrew Luck. He's a young person with talent, has had some injuries. I do think you're right. In ter- you know, he comes from Stanford. Mm. He didn't have that controversy that Cam had in right. college. Right. And so, and look, the media a lot of times wants to talk about things other than football because that's what they're comfortable with. That's what they know. Football is a complicated game. A lot of guys even covering the media don't really understand, covering football don't really un- understand it. I, you, you make some fair points. I'm pushing some chips into the middle of the table on Andrew Luck. If this doesn't go well, expect me to walk it all the way back. Because, look, he ain't my guy. I'm not a Colts fan. I'm a Chiefs fan. I, I'm a Pacer fan. I'm from Indianapolis originally, but I ne- Colts didn't treat Jeff George right. The Colts uh-huh. wasn't there when I was growing up as a kid. I'm not a Colts guy. I do think Andrew Luck has a chance here to justify some of the hype. You know, push all your chips in the middle, but yeah. that's how casinos were built in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Keep betting on the dude that's 0-5 against Belichick that tonight's the night. Keep pushing the Tonight's the night. Keep Stick pushing. around. Later in the show, we'll give you our approval ratings for Andrew Luck. He appeared headed for the Hall of Fame career, but injuries have derailed him. We'll show, we'll see, we'll show you where we rank him now. But first, the Dodgers came up just short of a World Series title last year. We'll tell you if they'll get another shot at it this year. Dark. Here's how old Dominion puts.